Hello, my dentist family. What is up? Hope everyone's doing good and feeling good. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Um, <laughs> as you notice from the title, we are going to talk about thrush and oral piercings. Um, now I have one of the two. I do for sure have a tongue piercing that I got Friday. Uh, and I have noticed something on my tongue. I'm a little worried. Uh, am I coming down with thrush? I don't know. Help. <laughs> I did go on Google for some information. I did go here on YouTube. Uh, great information and videos of people having thrush and sharing their information, their experience, um, how to cure, get comfort. Um, I'm going to show you. Uh, I don't have my lower end. I got the piercing Friday. I am talking a lot better than that day. I have not eaten anything uh, because to those that know what you go through uh, when you have your E-Day, uh, any little texture can feel like a huge piece of something something and it does give you a little discomfort so I'm at that point. Um, so I choose just not to eat um, until I am fully healed. I think they said a week to two weeks of healing. Um, which is fine, um, but yeah, I, I know some of you are questioning why did you even get a piercing. Well, I will be happily um, to answer that. You know, as you've been watching me, following me, you know my journey. You know what I had before my E day. A hot mess. I had crowding, severe crowding in the lower, uh, and that prevented me from being happy. Being able to wear dark lipstick, uh, anything that directed me, directed anyone to my mouth, I, I didn't do. So I'm definitely living through my healthy mouth, my beautiful smile, whether it's plumping my lips, dark lipstick, tongue piercing, um, whatever I'm just teeth uh, jewelry uh, just making myself happy living through what you know just making up time actually that's it that's all it is that's all I can tell you is just being happy you know um, so if I sound funny it's between the piercing and no lower in uh, I still sound funny with lower, no lower in I think but anyway I will show you a close-up I don't know if I'm coming down with thrush or not. I've been using the Dr. Berlin Digital Solution uh, Clean and Dent Paste for over a year now. Over a year. But I'm not ex a professional, but from my understanding, um, and please someone give me your input. Um, I'm definitely asking for it. Um, you could have the cleanest mouth on earth and you could still come down with thrush. Um, you can get it from, uh, is it what, medical conditions. I looked it up. You can get it through medical conditions. Um, let me see. I was just on it. But yeah, it's right here. Um, I find it sorry uh, medical conditions foods with high sugar and yeast content smoking and medication that damn medication uh, we did a video who's we me myself and I and I'm playing <laughs> I did a video a while back on med uh, medication could co probably cause you dry mouth so yeah that medication if you're taking medication you need to really look um, what the side effects are I mean but uh, all right and you, if you're thinking about getting a piercing an oral piercing think about it because they do recommend that you do think about it especially if you have a history of uh, yeast infection or um, thrush I've never had either one um, so yeah hope I don't. I heard there's a lot of discomfort in it and I'm already having discomfort because of the piercing itself 
not as much as the first two days but the swelling's gone down the bruising I had bruising on the sides of my tongue for some reason and not on the top well very little on the top but anyway uh, I think it's important you know for some reason ever since I got my teeth pulled um, I've been more into my mouth does that make sense I then just wanting to pay attention more what's going on uh, whether it's the the, the gum line especially the gum line because that's where I had all the, the issues the surgeries uh, I will show you close up but you want to take you want to watch everything the cheeks the roof everything your tonsils you just want to look at you just want to make sure you're paying attention to your mouth um, the mouth um, benefits your body a lot more than what you think actually it really does if your gums aren't healthy your body's not going to be healthy something's going to occur um, I'm not a doctor I'm not a professional but anyway oh okay let me hurry um, so yeah just look it up thrush um, and you can get more information that way and I do want to thank those that have put their their uh, videos out on thrush uh, thank you so much you've helped me out not saying I have it but I sure hope I'm not let me give you a close up before I close out I will see you in the comment section but I'll give you a look see real quick you will notice the difference from the top of the tongue and the lower part of the tongue that under my tongue right, here we go and I have no lower zen here's my lower It's more pink at the bottom under and um, it's got that white film on the top um, now I brush three times a day now since the piercing is that too much is there such thing as overdoing it uh, if anyone has that answer for me please let me know uh, it's so important but I don't have any discomfort but for under the under the tongue right now yeah but do you see the difference in the tongue on this watch. Yeah, it's the only thing bothering me. I have no regrets on anything that I've done. <clears throat> mm -mm. The only thing, only regret I ever have is that I didn't get mouth healthy sooner. I wish I had the courage then that I do then now, you know. It takes time to get that courage. I know how a lot of you feel that are sitting back with rotten, broken teeth. Uh, but you're worth it. Find a will, you know, and there's a way. Uh, yeah. You can get it done. Get mouth healthy. All right, I'm going to get off here. I'm tired of talking. Everyone have a good day. Good week. I'll see you in the comment section. Bye, guys.